I'm late as hell for this. The culture and climate in our school is outstanding. It is so positive, thanks to the example that you set. You have helped set a tone of respect, compassion, kindness, and team spirit. Basically you, the class of 2014, have left Iowa City High School even stronger than you found it. You have made a difference, made an impact, left a legacy. This Little Walks is leadership, making people around you better, lifting others up, bringing improvement. Indeed, you, the students of the school that leads, have delivered, and there is no doubt that this is one of the greatest classes in City High School history. Today, you become alumni and join an amazing network of people. As you move on to the next stage of your life, know that your City High family is behind you 100%, and I believe in you totally. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the City High traditions at commencement is our senior slideshow. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this tribute to the class of 2014. Over it. Oh my God.
Vlogos are always together. Anymore. 
This year, we started applying near and far for further education, tech schools, and jobs. We had major cases of senioritis throughout the year, but we all pushed through it. This year, we started sitting at the front of the bleachers for football games, throwing colored powder into the air and getting splattered with paint. As the senior class, we sat in the chairs on the floor at the assemblies. Everything we did now was the last time we did it. Our last football game, our last show park show, our last swim meet, our last debate tournament, our last math competition, the last time we might celebrate our birthday at home, the last time we could attend dances like homecoming and prom, and our last assembly. We felt kind of sad what we were going to leave behind us. We were becoming, getting excited about starting over. We were becoming anxious to move on. Everything flew fast through the month of May. And every senior tried to put on the brakes a little to see everything as it went by. Maybe we were rethinking the rush to grow up so quickly. In one year, we'll return with different experiences and might return as different people. We will have experienced dorm life and dorm food and met many, many <laughs> new friends. We'll have picked majors and re-picked majors. Some of us may not have found the jobs that we wanted or faced many new hardships. In that year, we may have had times where we missed being home more than others. We may fail a class or lose a job. But we will find a life after high school routine eventually. In one year, we will know more about ourselves. Once again, we will be searching for ourselves. We will look back fondly at old memories. We will see old friends and say, hey, it's been a while. But we will have made new memories and new friends. In a year, when we look back, we will realize all we wanted was no worries and to stay forever young and not to grow up so fast. Graduates, make sure to thank your parents for all the support and everything they have done for you. I want to say thank you to all the staff members and administration for everything they have done for us. And for you, class of 2014, congratulations and stay forever young. Thank you. Another important City High tradition is the presentation of a special piece of artwork from the graduating class. The stained glass class of 2014 artwork was designed and produced by senior Addie Hawkinshead. Here's Addie.
by you. This is, it's really terrific. And I, this is, it does not get better than that for me. Now, at least a couple of years ago, when you were just sophomores, I happened to be standing outside this Ali Borger Gurman's English class as a group of you filed in. And I commented sort of idly to her, this is a really high quality group of students. I also said to her in a remark that I thought was just between the two of us, something like, if this group were grapes growing in a vineyard in southern France, they're going to produce one heck of a wine in two years. What a vintage. That was a terrible metaphor. Certainly not the greatest ever. <coughs> but we had a little bit of a laugh when I went on around the, in the hallway. About an hour later, Leah Holscher came up to me and in a nice, cheerful voice said, I hear you think we're grapes. <laughs> Mrs. B had shared with the class. That wasn't the end of it. Every couple of days thereafter, people were coming up and saying, am I a grape? Am I a grape? Am I a grape? Yes, 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 you all are grapes. And you are. What up? Well, that was a clumsy metaphor, and I will not prolong it here, except to say that I was exactly right two years ago. And you have turned into an absolutely wonderful vintage. Congratulations on that. Now, as Mr. Bacon has quite, prom uh, quite correctly pointed out, that you are a very high achieving class academically in music, journalism, athletics, and drama. What goes into this? Well, I gave some thought to that, and I think there are about three things that I'm going to mention tonight. And the first is that success starts at the top. And by the top, of course, I mean your principal of four years, Mr. John Bacon. You are the first class to have been fully Baconized. <laughs> now, I know it's not particularly risky to praise your boss in front of about 1,500 people, but I'm going to do it. Mr. Bacon provides, as you well know, daily enthusiastic leadership, both for students and for staff. He is, he really has created an amazing climate of success at City High. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that there is a sense now of collective self-confidence in our school that has never been higher, at least in the nine years that I have been at City High School. And we thank him for that. His presence, yes. His presence at almost all school events is well known. And it's not a passive presence either. If you have ever attended or stood with him at a football game, or particularly a basketball game, you know it gets physical. To watch a basketball game with Mr. Bacon is, to use the basketball phrase, you better be willing to take a charge. I've taken plenty of them. Why doesn't LT make another three? Why doesn't he make another three? But win or lose, that intensity, that enthusiasm is infectious, and I think it makes us all want to do better. Now an additional and very important factor, and this is, this is on all of you, is your willingness, many of you, to take risks, try new things in high school, to endure the uncertainty of the unfamiliar, and to fail. Yes, fail. Many of you have failed, but you bounce back, you try again, you recover, and you learn that you can recover from challenges and risks. I think this is a critical factor to your development, both as people and as students. Partly because when you go through this process, you kind of remember what it was like. Oh yeah, I went through that before. It wasn't so bad, I came out the other end. And that's great. And that's the kind of persistence that you need to, to succeed in life. The older I get, and I'm pretty old, 
It's a straight line for Mr. Moore, by the way. I am more and more convinced that those who have the most fun in life and the most success are those that are willing to put aside their sort of human, natural reticence about things and to simply risk it. Now parents, I'm not urging your students to go uh, parachute jumping or climb or free climb or sheer rock walls in Yosemite. That's not the kind of risk I'm talking about. In fact, I am most proud of those quiet risks that I see many of our students take every day. I'm going to give a very brief and not very showy example of that. One of your classmates decided to organize an after-school tutoring program. She got others to join her efforts and the tutoring program started, but as it often happens, people dropped away. And soon, she was the only one left, but I would see her in the library after school, quietly persisting with her efforts. Her ability to have an idea, to organize it, to get her friends to do that, for me, is the essence of success. And I will remember her uh, because of that persistence. It wasn't flashy. Nobody wrote about it in the newspaper. It probably didn't even go in her resume. But that's the kind of thing that we like to see, and that's the kind of thing that will make her a success, I know. And many of you fall into that category. Now finally, the last thing is it's almost the easiest for me, and it's the most important, I think. And that is to have a sense of humor. Now, I come to work every day, and I love talking to you because you are the funniest class. Um, I don't know, I probably laugh. I haven't ever kept count, but I think I probably laughed upwards to two or three hundred times a day. Humor is sort of involves a sense of perspective, but this is a thing, and quite frankly, that I have enjoyed most about being with you in this terrific class of 2014. So. Surround yourself with enthusiasm, a leadership that's enthusiastic. Be willing to risk challenges. Learn how to deal with that process. <coughs> Keep doing it. And finally, please continue your wonderful sense of humor. Now, let me finally say with great, great, great affection, congratulations, 2014 Now City High graduates. Thank you so much. Jeff, very much for your kind words. Mr. Hurley, members of the Board of Education, I am honored to certify that the members of the class of 2014 have met all requirements set forth by the Iowa City Community School District Board of Directors and the State of Iowa. I do hereby recommend these students receive their diplomas, signifying the completion of their high school education. To officially accept this recommendation, I am pleased to introduce Superintendent Steve Merlin. As Superintendent of Schools, few things are as rewarding as participating in your high school graduation ceremony. As you prepare to cross the stage and move forward with your lives, remember the words of Roger Kipling from his poem, If. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not, not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. Many of you have been with us for 13 years. Some of you have joined us along the way. It is clear that you have all worked hard to reach this goal. Based on your triumphant journey through the district, we will continue to expect great things from the students of 2014 and the years to come. This is your night. And many of you will remember and treasure the way you feel for years to come. Carry that feeling of success with you wherever you go. Before you leave, though, take a moment to look around you. 
Look at the friends you have made, the teachers, administrators, and school staff who helped you reach this goal, and your parents and family who stood beside you through every triumph and defeat. Remember to say thanks to all of them for helping you reach this milestone. As you close the door on your high school career, remember to hold on to the lessons and the hopes and dreams you have shared here at City High School. Years from now, you will be amazed just how much these days, these people, and this community have meant to you. Wherever life takes you, remember the past and the promise that lies within each of you today. Graduates, as Kipling said, keep your head and trust yourself and dream and think, and the world will be yours. And always remember your little hog roots on which that promise has been built. John Bacon, Principal of City High School, has indicated that the class of 2014 has met the graduation requirements of the State of Iowa and the Iowa City Community School District. On behalf of the Board of Education, it gives me great pleasure to accept the class of 2014. Congratulations. Following members of the Iowa City Community School District Board of Directors, Board President Sally Mosher, Vice President Carlos Swayze, Board of Directors Twit Drew, Patty Fields, and Brian Hirsch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Hurley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride that I present to you the City High School Class of 2014. in receiving their diplomas. City High faculty member and Dean of Students, Douglas Dina, will read the graduates' names. City High administrators will congratulate, congratulate the graduates, and the Board of Education members will present the diplomas. I ask you to please hold your applause so that everyone can hear their name and enjoy this special moment. Shima, 
James, James. Do you remember her? Michael. Nishima. She has a she has a kid as well. Foster. Tyler 
Reese, Thomas Ellie, Krause, Matthew James Cruz, Nathan Thomas Green, Joseph Nakwe Mollick, Madeline Nicole Flambeau, Hannah Elizabeth Langenfeld, Jessica Ellen Larson. Jake Robert Lair. Kenny W. Lane. Skyler Anthony Lai. Corey Nolly Lindsay. Go, Corey! Go, Corey! Let's go. Haley Jenna Lawrence. Melanie Lauren. Lily E. Lawford. Destiny Renee Lowe. Isaac T. Louis. Ryan J. Moss. Corbin Maddox. Sergio E. Martinez. All right, Sergio! He went to Roosevelt. Nathaniel L. Mason. I'm sitting next to two dudes that went to Weber. Shauna Joy McFall. Yeah! Emma Catherine McIntyre. Liam M. Murray. Yeah, Isaac M. McNutt. <laughs> Uriel Michelle. Yeah! Amelia Mihangos Rivas. Yeah! McNutt. Jillian T.H. Wrights. Miranda R. 
Marcel Reyes. Tanisha C. Robinson. Marvin Alexander Rodas. Sabrina K. Rogers. Sergio Armando Rodriguez. Heather Lynn Rausch. Javier Rosales. Kelly Ruth Sabers. Morgan Elizabeth Sanders. Chase Alexander Fox Sats. Dylan Chuckles. Baiju Schmillen. Kelly Don Schneider. Ryan and Sugar. Lacine Shaw. Adam B. Schwab. Seth M. Schroeder. Omar Gabriel. Henry M. 
Ambrose Army Wright. Nicholas Stephen Yeager. Brooke Ashley Young. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. As we prepare to close, I would once again like to thank all City High families for the love and support that you have provided for your sons and daughters. I would like to say a special thank you to the Carver Hawkeye Arena personnel, to our videographer Bob Dane, to the City High School Guidance Department, especially Councilor Linda Wall, who worked so hard to plan this special event, to our band and to our choir. Please join me in thanking these individuals.
hard work, passion and enthusiasm for what you do, collaboration with others, compassion, dedication, and kindness. Remember that nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm, so put your heart into everything that you will do. To quote my hero, Bob Dylan, may God's blessings be you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build a ladder to the stars, climb on every rung, and may you stay forever young. Congratulations to the class.
that's the end of that. Hey. Is it recording? Yeah, I'm just recording some parts of it. He said, he said. No, I'm just recording like the ending parts of it. Everyone's outside. YouTube? Yeah, it's called Ending Parts. I will see you in high graduation. Like, I'm, for the description, I'll just like put in some nice music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, we do the same thing for Iowa City West. Hey, I just have to download when the movie and I can just edit all that stuff out. Alright. Uh, so, wait, are you guys gonna eat at a restaurant again? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It's a nice camera, man. Congratulations. Why do you think of that? Why do you think of that? 
video is hard, man. It's like, this is how I always struggle. He's like, I'm, I'm documenting every moment. No, 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 I say every goofy moment. Like, every goofy moment is a goofy moment. Yeah, show us no. the videos once you're done with no, it. No, I, I saw, no, I saw two people trying to jaywalk across the street when, the, um, when a girl, I uh, toot her whistle. <laughs> you make sure all the cars come through. Good to look, look at the amount of people that are here. Yeah, I'm out. Huh? Yeah, you Huh? There we go.